these helmets may look like a prop from a sci-fi movie. But designers are hoping they'll protect thousands of frontline healthcare workers. A built-in fan provides ventilation, making it easier to breathe. Filters similar to those on gas masks keep viruses out. The helmets are made by QL Concept, a Colombian startup that's hoping to mass produce these devices and export them globally. We want to do our best to reduce contagion, and we believe that if we can get these to the people who are most exposed to the virus, we'll be able to prevent its spread and have a positive impact on the current situation. Weighing about 600 grams, the helmets are lighter than similar headgear currently on the market. They're also up to 10 times cheaper, with prices starting at $110. QL Concept has sold 120 of these helmets on its website. The company has exported these devices to El Salvador, Bolivia and the United States. Currently, QL Concept produces about 10 helmets a day from this small workshop. But it's launched an appeal on crowdfunding site Kickstarter to buy equipment that will enable it to manufacture up to 2,000 units a day. The company says its helmets aren't just for healthcare workers but could also be sold to flight attendants, supermarket cashiers, or anyone else who is repeatedly exposed to possible infection and other contaminated material. This is not just a tool against coronavirus. We think it can also be helpful for people who work with chemicals or biological hazards, like for people who handle trash. One of the most recent customers is an electrical engineer who wants to use this helmet when visiting clients. Leonardo Spinel is hoping his father will be able to use it as well. My dad suffers from heart disease, so he needs more protection than a face mask when he goes out. I want to test this one out and see how comfortable it is before getting one for him. QL Concept is hoping to secure international distributors. It's already obtained a U.S. patent, but we'll have to make sure the helmet is certified by regulators in the countries where it's sold. Manuel Rueda, TRT World, Bogotá.